Hey guys, welcome back to Ben's Tech Tips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an action sequence in Photoshop. To begin with, click on File, Automate, Photo Merge. From here, make sure Auto is selected, untick Blend Images together, and then click Browse. Now select your images that you want to put into the action sequence. Once they're loaded in there, click OK. Now as you can see I took these photos on my GoPro, so I must have moved it when I was taking the photo, so now Photoshop will spend a bit of time to align the photos and when it's finished you'll see a little bit of white around the corner because it's transformed them all to look roughly the same. Once it loads up, you want to make sure your first layer is selected, then click Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. From here, select the Brush Tool. Make sure you've got a big brush around 150 pixels, or depending on how high resolution your photo is, and ensure the opacity is 100%. Now select White. Now you can paint in your other people or objects or whatever you're making the action sequence of. There are a few things you want to look out for such as shadows. And try and keep your layer mask just, just as big as it needs to be and don't go overboard because Sometimes you can get discrepancies of roof lines and other lines in the background. Now go on to your next layer and repeat the process. Layer, layer mask, hide all. Then just paint in your guy. Simple as that. So when you're painting in uh, things in the action sequence, you can create the mask to go backwards, and that doesn't matter, but if you go forwards, it'll start erasing. So make sure you don't go forwards, and in Photoshop, step backward is command option Z. So make sure you get these bits. So you'll want to zoom in and maybe even change brush sizes, but I'm just going to do this quickly with a big brush. So I can show you. Da 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 da. There we go. Now you go on to the next one, repeat the process. If you accidentally do go over the next one, simply change your brush to black and then redraw over it, as you, and that will fix up the layer mask like this. You can get to your layer mask by clicking, holding down Option and clicking on it. Now when you get to the end, there might be a few scenes. For As in this one, I've got a few scenes of a splash, a bigger splash, or I can just use another photo of my friend here. So zoom out and because of these dodgy edges you want to crop it. Hang on. Uh, just get any fingers or stuff out of the way. Make it look nice. And there you have it. That's how you make an action sequence in Photoshop.